in uh, IS 1893, uh, part one, 2016 code says that when you are doing structural analysis and design of uh, RCC or steel buildings, uh, for RC structures, you have to reduce the uh, moment of inertia for columns uh, by 70 percentage and 35 uh, percentage uh, reduction for that of beams. So this clause actually it is implemented in uh, STAD Pro. So for that, uh, to give that specification, you have to come to the beam specification and in the property reduction factor tab, uh, you can select the code specific uh, reduction factors. Uh, not the global one, select the select the uh, code specific uh, reduction factors. So as of now only 1893 is implemented here. So select 1893 and then uh, provide the reduction factors. 0.74 columns and that of beams is uh, 0.35. Now we can assign that reduction uh, factors to columns and beams. Now what happens is once you give the property reduction factors, the load cases with the 1893 loads, uh, means here two uh, static load cases are with 1893 uh, loads and uh, the response spectrum also is with 1893 uh, loads. So these three loads alone will be uh, analyzed with re reduced member properties and all other uh, load cases, primary load cases will be analyzed with the, the actual member properties uh, provided. So you can run the analysis and check the deflection with the reduced uh, member properties. And you can compare the result uh, with this file and another file with without giving the reduction factors so in this file we are getting a displacement of around 8.22 mm uh, under the node uh, 146 so you can see uh, the first load, uh, two load static load cases having uh, 8.22 and uh, 8.53 in deflection in x and z direction, as well as uh, the sixth load case, which is response spectrum method, having a displacement of uh, 7.242 in x direction. So we will see this uh, same file uh, without reduction properties. So this is the same file without giving any reduction factors. So you can check the deflections uh, for this file. So the maximum deflection is uh, 4.2 mm uh, for the static load case and uh, for uh, response spectrum method, it is 3.6. So you can see the uh, uh, increase in the deflection values when you are adopting the uh, adopting the uh, the reduction factors. And you can also notice that for other load cases like these three load cases, uh, the deflection value will not be changing because it uh, the program takes the actual uh, moment of inertia uh, while while doing while doing the uh, these uh, load cases.